Hi, hello, how's it going? My name's Sarah, what's your name? Let's do a little circle time meeting. What is your name? What's your problem? Where are you from? What book are you reading? First book I'm reading, you'd love it. It's My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Mighty fine colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Bib we got going on here. I'm almost done this book, I'm on page 244. There's 330 pages in this book. I was on page 70 this morning and now miraculously I'm on page 244. Next book I'm reading is A Strange Hind by Laura Talissa. I was that right? This is the cover. It's the second book in the Bargainer series. The first one's Rhapsodic. If you've read Akatar and you're looking for a pick me up after it, you're in a reading slump, you want to read something that's similar to Akatar, read this. There's so many things in this book and in the first book that's so inspired by Akatar. You know, it's fantasy, it's fey. This book follows the main character, Abby. There's a group of friends, there's four of them. They're toxic, really toxic. Whoa. So they go to this house. It's midnight, you know what, skinny dipping, it's a good idea, let's go. So Gretchen, one of the friends, goes flying off. It's pitch dark, she goes cannonball jumping into the water, the ocean, I don't know. Uh, the three of the friends are like, what the fuck is she doing? Can't find Gretchen anymore, Gretchen is gone. A couple hours later, Gretchen is found and she is different. She is possessed by a demon. So before that happens, a lot of this book followed the main character, Abby and Gretchen and their friendship. And I really, I really enjoyed that. It was really interesting. This book is set in the 1988. So there's so many references to everything that happened back then. And it's so cool. There's so many music references in this book. I think this book is supposed to be a horror, but honestly, it's grand. It's not scary. But I'm enjoying it. I am most likely, if things go well, I'll finish it today. A book came in the post too, so I got Take a Hint, Denny Brown by Talia Hibbert. And it's the next book after Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I think it's an adult romance. The first book was Enemies to Lovers, uh, sort of thing. This one, I have not a clue. I just got out of the shower, so that's when my hair is wet. And also, if my eyes look a bit bloodshot, when the shower water falls into my eyes, I get out of the shower and it looks like I've been on drugs for 10 years. I'm clean and sober. <laughs> it's warm, it's sunny. It's supposed to get to 25 degrees this week. Bye. So it's been a few hours later. Hope you had a great few hours. I was about to say of not seeing me, but it's been like a few seconds, if that. I finished uh, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, and I ended up giving it three stars. The book was labeled as like a horror thriller, but I don't agree with that, in that I was not scared at all. I didn't get thriller vibes. I wasn't on the edge of my seat. Yes, there was an exorcism, but it wasn't scary at all. This book, to me just showed growing up like the two main characters growing up and towards the end to and everything it was really it was a really special moment i realized from this book that i do not like reading about religion every single adult in this book was so set in their ways and their religion that it harmed everyone around them and they were so like oh my word is the word but you know when you get older you get more wisdom for these people that did not apply for them. When they got older, they got fucking more dumber. Two things I don't like reading in books now is bullying and religion. I like the two main characters' relationship. I like how it was, it was developed throughout the book. I don't know what book to read next. I might show you um, my physical TBR. This is my physical TBR. So it's from this book and words. I'm still... I don't know if I'm in a fantasy mood or... Oh, that's deodorant. Got a smelly pits. I'm either leaning towards The Saviour by J.R. Ward. It's a vampire sex book, really. It's just that. I kind of want to read fantasy. I don't really want to read that book or that book or that book. I don't know. I don't know. These are the books I've read recently. Also, I'm going to the library tomorrow, so I'm giving back these two books because they're library books. That's it for me. Uh, bye. Hello, she goes. She goes. I'm going to the shopping center. What I'm wearing? Look. I'm in Eason's. Someone's in the YA section. He's hogging it.
Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a shopaholic. How about you? I'm going to start with the books because that's what you're here for. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the selection box set. I actually don't know how many books are in this selection series. Like, is this how many there is in the series? I think it's either like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, these books. I'm really gassed though. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. They were only 14 euro. I had to do it. So I'm going to show you the clothes I got because I kind of went ham. Let's go to Bershka. What's my on Bershka? Bershka is probably one of my favorite shops. This top. Um... I'm not gonna lie, I hope these fit, because obviously we can't try them on. This is a small, it was a tenner. I hope it fits, that's all I have to say, I hope it fits. It's really nice though. This next top feels like it's a swimming suit. Um, it's really nice though, it's like this blue white, and there's this hole in the back, kind of like a bullseye sort of thing, so if you're doing, if you're doing darts, you know, get the bullseye into the back. That won't hurt. Oh my god, I got an extra small. <gasps> I got this in an extra small. This is not gonna fit. Why did I get an extra small? It was 13 euro. Stradivarius. It's like a crochet sort of thingy majigger. This is a small, it was eight euro. Um, but it's really cool though, I really like it. Uh, it's giving me hippie vibes. Sarah interrupting this segment saying that I'm not trying on this top. Too small. Um, that's all. I got some jeans, some mom jeans. They're a size 36. So I like this sandy beige color. I think they're really cool though, they're high-waisted and yeah. The last thing I got, oversized flannel. It's a size small and it was eight euro. I just really like it, it's really purpley. That was all my shopping, I had a great time. But let's do a reading update. So obviously I finished uh, my best friend's exorcism yesterday. Then I didn't pick up a physical book because I decided I wanted to read more of this, this book. And I did, I got to page 303 and there's only 380 something pages. I'm 82% the way through. Um, I'll probably finish it today and I don't know what book to pick up then. I might start these, but I also don't want to start them. I'm gonna go now and try the clothes. Ah, wish me luck. Hopefully they fit. I'm back in my pajamas again. I just saw, I just saw that I hit 500 subscribers. The fuck? I'm just waiting for someone to unsubscribe and to subscribe again so it keeps it going back and forth because I did that once for someone because it was so entertaining for myself but holy shit 500 is a lot. Yeah, thank you. It's great. It's great being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, reading update. I started Ace of Spades yesterday. Got to page 34. This book is so similar to Gospel Girl. Um, like the main character, Devin is Dan. Then the other main character, Chiamaka, is Serena. I see the resemblance, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's kind of cool. I forgot to tell you, I finished that book. Fuck, I don't know the name of it. A Strange Time. I finished that book yesterday and I picked up the next book, which I showed you yesterday in the clip. I can't remember the name of it. Empire or something. It's book 2.5 in the series and it's basically in the point of view of Dez, which is the love interest of this series. This book is set years before uh, the first book in the series, which is Rhapsodic. We're basically finding out everything about what happened, how he became what he became. To leave for a few seconds, everything is going to shit. Five to six right now. I told my friends, they're coming over. Thank the Lord, I'm so excited. We're finally, we're playing cards. But when I'm collecting them at six, I literally text them, six o'clock, collection, be there or you'll die, death. I'm a person who's on the chopping board of dying by my own threat. I'm going to leave because I'm so fucking late. Just like to confirm with you that due to my screaming and loud aggressiveness, my throat hurts a lot. This is what playing the Wii does to me. Obviously, I have not read anything. So I can't wait to go to sleep. Ladies and gents, how's it been? I just finished 
that name the book that I can never remember. It's called Emperor Dark Evenings of S or something. It was book 2.5 in the Bargainer series. Uh, I finished it about 50 seconds ago. I gave it four stars. I really liked hearing Des's point of view from some of the stuff that happened in the first book. And now I'm on to the last book in the A Quadruple It series. You count book 2.5 as part of the series or is it like a different thing altogether? I don't know. But I'm on to the last book now, Dark Harmony. It's 400 pages. Also, that book, Empire of Dark Evenings, that was 220 pages. I read a lot of it when I'm at work. Like, I was at work today and I read a lot of it, a lot of it in the morning because I do have time in the morning. I have, like, almost an hour uh, before I actually go into work. I think my dogs are humping. Look, I read 100 pages of it at work today. Are my dogs humping that viciously? Well, I'm not going to tell you what I just saw, but something weird is happening with my two dogs. They're stuck together. But I've made no progress on Ace of Spades. I don't really want to read <laughs> I don't really want to. I don't really want to read this. This is all my reading updates. Hello and welcome back. I'm back. Page 82 of Aces of Spades. When I say Aces now, I mean Gossip Girl. So Aces has now sent out three text messages to, you know, everyone, sharing loads of personal details, as you do. You know, Gossip Girl, she's toxic. I wonder who it is. This book has LGBTQ plus representation in it too. It's half seven in the evening right now, and I feel like I want to go cycling. I really want to hang out with my friends. But everyone's working. Yesterday was a good day because they were both off. So if you are younger, wisdom of Sarah here right now, hang out with your friends. Because once you get older, you'll have to get a job. And then you'll have no time. <laughs> Peace out. like to say that I am very warm. It's like 26 degrees Celsius. My ass cheeks are stuck together. Sarah died while doing the pots. Did she find the love of her life? Yes. The pots held up my body while I was dying. So they are the love of my life. I need to take a moistless shower. I'm on page 190 of Ace of Spades. I'm really enjoying it. It's basically Gossip Girl in a book. Ace is is only targeting really the two main characters and the two main characters are both black so I'm thinking Aces is racist and it's pissing me off. The TV show Gossip Girl absolutely loved it. It was so amazing, loved it. But I didn't even think about the things Gossip Girl was doing. Obviously she was a fundamental part of the show. Especially the person who was revealed to be Gossip Girl. I didn't even think that much of it. I was like, whoa, okay, cool. Um, but this book is making me think a lot more deeper, not surface level, a lot more underground tunnel level thinking of it. It is supremely annoying me. This person Aces is just spilling secrets of these two people and some other people that do not do not need to be said to anyone besides their, themselves. I think that is the most selfish thing, especially knowing the reason of why in Gossip Girl, the person who was a Gossip Girl, thinking about it now, it was the most selfish reason for them to become Gossip Girl. Honestly, it's harassment, they should get criminal charges. Because if it's the same reason, I really doubt it is, but if it's the same reason as to why the Gossip Girl Gossip Girl, the show, I'm sorry, I keep on relating them back, but they're the same thing. If it's that reason too, it'll be so selfish. But I'm getting pissed off. So my progress on Dark Harmony, I am on page 114. On chapter, chapter 14. I read the 114 pages today. You saw this morning, I was on page two. 114 now. Let me tell you, work. I'm enjoying this book a lot. The main character, Callie, she's smart mouthed, she's witty, she's crazy. She's out of her mind bonkers. Her best friend, Temper, is a really interesting character and they're both out of their minds bonkers. I love how she's embracing herself and Des never is not holding her back. So my dog, Callie, is in heat, which is not the best since our neighbor's dog gallivants down to our house wanting to impregnate her he can't get in but he's literally in the field right next to our house barking to get in he stopped barking now i don't know where he's gone the funny thing is we can always hear our neighbor shouting his name 
to come back to the house, to their house, to his own home. It's still really warm. I'll show you the sky. Look, that is literally the color of the sky. Blue. <laughs> Tomorrow, I might go up to my coworkers and be like, yo, let's get some ice cream. Bye. <laughs> Kill me your buffer. Hey, did you miss me? Where are we going, dogs? You're correct. We're going to feed the chickens and the geese. half seven right now i am on page 296 of ace of spade i'm more than halfway done i'm almost at part three i'm really interested in wondering who aces is and their reasoning as to why they became aces i really hope it's a good reasoning and i really hope it's a good person who's picked because i don't have anyone in mind that i kind of want to be aces like i don't want anyone to be aces because it's fucking bullying it's absolutely stunning weather so i've been sitting outside for a bit of time and I'm re I was reading. I also have sprints with Sean in about 20, 30 minutes. I still haven't had my dinner. I'm on page 233 of Dark Harmony. I'm really liking it. I love all the characters. I love the fantasy element to it. It's a good series. What is Bella doing? She's trying to bait up a tree. Today at work was probably the most disgusting, disgusting I felt. I was sweating in every single crevice. And we did get ice creams though. I was gassed. We got Malteser ones, which I don't understand what, what was going on. We got orange Malteser ice cream. I'm looking at the moon right now and the bird. Whoa, that bird. I swear to God, that was a bat. <laughs> that was a bat. I don't think they come out in daytime though. I think it's half 11 in the morning right now and I finished Ace of Spades like at 9 o'clock. I Like I finished it this morning when I got up. I've given this book four stars. When I was saying it was Gossip Girl like it really is but it goes a lot more deeper. This book talks a lot about race. The two main characters fighting against racism. Reading this whole book I think I was annoyed for 75% of the book just because of what Ace is was, do was doing. I can't tell you what i found out aces anyways um it's not what i expected and it pisses me off everything thinking about this book pisses me off of what happened and what has been happening and what is probably happening happening now i feel like i should give this book like 3.75 stars i didn't connect with any of the characters there's one character there which i thought was an absolute creep i don't know why because in the end it turned out grand but i just thought he was so stalkery i finished four books this week so i finished my best friend's exorcism i finished a second book in the rhapsodic series book 2.5 in the rhapsodic series and then i finished ace of spades i think i'm going to read the savior by jr ward it's a fantasy book um i don't want contemporary i'm really not in the lovey-dovey mood i really want some killing some people dying peace out woo